All right, so I made two clear resin uh, in memory of Clayton Tran. And um, the first one I did, and I learned a lot from the second one. The first one I did, it had more bubbles. Um, and the reason, one of the reasons is because I didn't pour it in layers. Uh, this mold is a 10 inch by 10 inch and it's about one and three quarters uh, thick. And so it takes about 1000 ml uh, of, of resin uh, uh, and the hardener to, um, to fill it. And I didn't fill this in layers. I pour everything in at once. And even though I use a, a heat gun to try to take out the bubbles, but once the um, resin starts to solidify, it starts to heat up and any bubbles that's inside any Legos will start to come out. So that's why this, this one had more bubbles. And also I use Mod Podge to uh, wipe on the picture to try to seal uh, to seal the picture so the resin doesn't get into the picture but when it heated up it started to leak so you can see right here that the Mod Podge didn't seal up the uh, okay uh huh and so it didn't seal up the picture so the um so that's why this one had more bubbles and then compared to this one the second one I made is a lot clearer and there's hardly any bubbles and this one, what I did was I pour it in layers where I would pour about half. Then I, then I let it sit for eight hours for it to start to harden. Then I use a heat gun to blow out all the bubbles on that first layer. Then after that, I pour on the second layer. So this one comes out a lot clearer and a lot better. Plus this one, I've learned that the Mod Podge uh, sometimes it leaks so what i did was i used clear tape to tape o over the picture so that's why there's no leaking and overall it looks a lot cleaner and a lot better and for both of these if you look clearly there are strands of hairs those hair they belong to uh clayton uh and um so that way we would always have a part of him with us and this one that you can also see strands of hair here, that's, uh, that's Clayton's real hair. Okay, so if you put these two side by side, you're, you're, you're gonna see that uh, both of them from, from far away looks, looks okay. But if you come closer, the one on the left has more bubbles and the one on the right is a lot clearer, okay? So if anyone wants to do this project, the mold is 10 inch by 10 inch by one and three quarters deep. And it's gonna uh, take about 1000 ml of resin and hardener's mix. And, um, but um, overall, I'm happy with the um, results. And both of these had, um, have Clayton's hair in it. So one is for me and one is for his mom. Okay, and they both have Legos, and this is a Stormtrooper, and this is a Stormtrooper, right? And um, we have the date that Clayton was born and when he passed away, and this picture is when he was either in the Cayman Islands or the, the Bahamas, and this, the Cayman Island. And then this picture to the right is, is when he had the DIPG and um, he's starting to lose control of his hands and, um, and, he, and he knows that there's something wrong but he doesn't know what but when he was hugging his mom this picture it shows that he found a lot of comfort and it soothed him so um, that's why I put this in this uh, clear resin tablet in memory of him and and uh, his sister, she also loves him a lot and and they were both like biking and riding and doing scooter stuff and so um, yeah so if anyone wants to make clear resin you uh, can YouTube uh, on how to um, to do it but this this is my result and my recommendation is to pour it in layers 
let the first layer, if you're doing anything that's over one inch thick, let the first layer um, uh, dry up for a bit for about eight, eight hours, then pour on the second layer. It looks a lot better. This one, I pour in everything at once, okay? Lee, Lee Tan, can you stand in front of it and say hi? Hi. And how and how old are you now? Six. Six. Okay, cool. And yeah. I'm turning seven. And you're turning seven. Okay. All right. That's it.